Now let us learn about alternating current and direct current. Generally we call as the AC and DC. The AC is alternate current and DC is a direct current. In the case of DC, the, mag the magnitude and the direction of the current is constant. Magnitude and direction are constant, where in the AC, the magnitude and direction reverses periodically. That means for the DC, you, you know you have our cells, batteries, there, there you have the positive and negative end, that is the direct current, DC. The positive end is fixed, negative end is fixed, that is the DC current and AC, alternative current generally we use in our households for our lighting, fans, ACs, whatever it is. For that we use AC current. Why we use AC current there and DC current here? Because it is very easy to carry the alternating current over long distance without much loss. Transmitted over long distance without much loss. Without much loss. Generally, most of the power stations in India are most power stations produces this AC. Produces alternating current. Whereas frequency is 50 hertz. Frequency? is 50 hertz for the AC current in India okay the DC current is it is difficult to carry you know that if you have a particular cell and if you attach a very long wire to that cell and attach a bulb there it will not glow because there are too much loss when the DC current flows through the any conductor okay so if you see the graph graph of DC current this graph will be straight line here okay but because the magnitude and directions are constant but in this case in case of alternating current the graph is fluctuating it is like this it changes reverses its, its direction after some time periodically it will reverse the directions actually these are these graphs are not for you but if you draw this graph if the question arises that compare or explain the AC and DC in that case I will suggest you I will suggest that you definitely draw these two graphs for AC for this graph for DC this graph so now let us go to next topic that is electric generators